Leben zu immer. I try to catch something big, you know. I want to show you something big. Twist up, you know. And patience is not one of my virtues. The sunset may wait out fun. But in the meantime, I fuck around and pretend so we can catch them. In the meantime. The Craig don't hook me up with a with a big rod you know. He said I'm not catch nothing. So he give me a little baby rod. Sunset, sunset. Sunset, bad, 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 bad. Watcha, 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 watcha. Holy person. Oh my god. Let me try to find it. Watcha. Yo. That is wicked. Buddy, catch my ass if I catch nothing, I must flow. But you flow, I'm lucky, say flow now, I keep again. How is that me that catch you, buddy? I know I said, did I go with kid enough?
from the cloud them set up so to get way more texture like levels to it I catch nothing mostly I catch piece of mine you know I catch fish it, um, it have on sink you know it just is lighter it's a picnic and my brother set it up give me you know it's a picnic picnic rod him give me you know rate me he said I don't catch nothing yeah, I catch before. I catch before, but when I when I fish with a professional fisherman, now. Oh God, that looks so good. That is so good. These are just one of the few things that you can't see when you lock up in your house. Yeah. That nice, don't. Very nice. I'm mean, gonna stay on favor. Hey, I want to big up my girl Shannon back. I enjoy the conversation. Um, she's comfortable for talk to. And so I want to big up Shannon Mack to the max. Yeah? To all the people who are reaching out after. I just want to say to the genuine ones, thank you. Um, to the genuine ones offering offering their sympathy and their love and strength thank you but but there are people next to you who need that much more than i do look around you take a different look yeah kishi my buddy take a take another look around you to see who in your immediate surroundings actually needs that and you're better able to give it to them than to me because you only reach me virtually, right? But the people in your, in, in your immediate vicinity, you reach them physically. You reach them emotionally, psychologically. Yeah? So please, don't just, re don't, don't just reserve your love and affection for strangers on the internet. Because that's what I am to you. I am a stranger. You think you know me because you've seen me on TV and you've heard me on the radio and you've seen me on the internet but you don't know me you know your daughter you know your cousin and your sister and your brother you know your son you know your mother and your father and you don't have to reach out to them and say I think something went wrong and I want to give you love no you can just change your conversation just change your conversation from one of judgment change your conversation from one of judgment to one of understanding and empathy and inclusion i block it obscure it judge it's the boy there i look him i look out for me and I laugh because I know he gave me one little light with it, I can't catch nothing on me, I'll go go war him. So, may I beg you now, please, 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 change the conversation. So instead of you, instead of you offering Tanya Stevens or somebody else, because you will go under somebody famous from another country, go give them all your love and support, you know. All your love and support, and your daughter, the right near us, want it and need it. I did before you give them. Please, may I beg you? Give it to them. I'm not saying you shouldn't be supportive of me. I'm not saying you shouldn't be supportive of me. I'm saying you should be supportive of those next to you. And by changing the conversation, if you change the conversation, if you change the narrative surrounding stuff like this, that will be the biggest support you can ever give to me because I want no one else to experience this. And you're going to change it. You're going to end it by first being accommodating to those who tell you that something has happened. When I say something happened to me and you speak negatively of me and your daughter hears, she's not going to speak to you. You are creating environment every time you speak, every time you act, every time you reject, every time you ridicule, you criticize, Every time you deny, 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 you're creating environment for your own people. 
It's not me you're creating it for. Understand this. You can say, you're going to say anything you want to say about me. But at the end of the day, you and I know that you don't affect me. And the only way you can affect me is if I allow you to affect me psychologically because you're not in my real space. You are not. You're on the internet. And that is virtual. You know you're not affect me. You see me out here still big and fat and I fear fight for lose weight. You know so you're not take one grain of rice off of my plate. But what you are doing is creating an you're creating an environment for your daughter, your son. Alright, so every time when somebody says, This happened to me, and you say, She chat too much, like she I tell, she I look attention. It's not just your daughter here, you know, your son here too. And your son knows that he can act with no fear of repercussion. Because you have given him that indemnity. You have created that space, that cushioned space within which he can act. So now when you talk about Tanya Steens, you're not, you're, not just, you're not talking to Tanya Steens. You're talking about Tanya Steens within earshot of your own people. So when you say, who them girl they? Try remember that every time I said them girl they, all the girl them around you here. Your daughter, your niece, your stepdaughter. You know? All of them girl they here. And I just and most times me not here. Um me can hear the rumblings. And for the most part, the name them not have no face to them and I never real name. I don't have aliases. I don't have aliases. So we are gonna talk a little bit of, of we are gonna talk a little bit of logic now. And before I even touch in the logic, I don't know what I think. Me just want to say to all of the reporter them, the so-called reporter them where I try to reach out to me, stop. And you know, if you make up your mind, is it that I want attention? Or do I not want attention? Because I avoid you know, and you know, can't find me on a dig hard. You know, you know, bomb rush my representatives. And you know, open up my DMs and my emails and you know, they're all over crawl upon me like ticks. I try to get me to do an interview. Because you guys have relegated yourself to the position of psychological carry-on crows. Your junk crows. And all you want out of life in your position that you've, you, you've pre you pretend to be in as journalists, all you want is just the carcass of somebody else's sanity to feed off of. Not this blood clot, girl. Fuck off. Fuck off and fuck off again. My sanity intact. And uno no understand yourself. Uno no give me instruction. Don't understand no blood clot self. Because uno is as uno a momentary people. Me, me look way ahead. Way ahead of me. So I don't want no more instructions for you. Stop telling me what you Because you don't know by now. So you don't know what you know talk about. And I do. What I know 25, 30 years ago still remains true. No. I still know. And I see it play out in front of me every day. Because I know you. You know skin people. You fickle. You know fickle. And all I know want is something to run with today. Because today your life sad. Today your life unhappy. Today your life painful. Today you're going through shit and you just want somebody else's shit to make bigger than your shit so that you can feel better about your shit. So you can say, well, at least my shit's smaller. But I'm not Tanya shit. If you book up Tanya shit, you have to come in and tell it with me. That's the only place you have to book up my shit. You know, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You want to fix this? Fix your environment. You can't fix me. What happened with me happened years and years ago. And and by the way, stop offering me help. You genuinely feel like saying my name or my name. Alright, whether you like me or not, someone don't like me. And that's okay. You don't have to. But just pre this for a second, just for a quick second. You don't like me, that aside. But you really feel like saying I make so much hit song for so much years and do so much things and enjoy so much success. And you feel like if I want to deal with that boy, I can deal with him. You genuinely feel so? I don't need no help. Stop. Your daughter need your help. Your niece need your help. Your cousin need your help. Your son them need your help. Look after the people I'm around you and stop trying to look after me. Stop pretending you don't care because you don't care. When the conversation come again, you still have to take Bill Cosby side. You still have to take R. Kelly side. You no don't care. Every time you hear an accusation, you still have to look to the victim first for this side whether or not you are supposed to consider it plausible. Say that happened. I'm no idiot. I know no mess. Decades, I listen to you. Know, decades. 
me not accidental me not accidental so me not take instructions me not take instruction bulby me not need your help for god <laughs> me need your help with the track them me not take in instructions from topical people from current people from people who move from fad to fad and follow me not take instructions from followers lead me lead right me lead out I don't invite nobody to follow me neither. If you want to follow, you follow. But I don't follow. And I don't take instructions from people. So you hear what I say? Something happened. I know what happened. Pussy know what happened. And I know that I don't know that I don't lie. I don't know that I don't lie. And I'll tell you this again. If me did feel like say it's going to be profitable, if you make him bring him to justice, I don't know, depend on the system, I don't bring him to justice myself. Understand, I'm capable, very capable. But that's not necessary. It's not necessary what I want to know do is change the conversation because me doing changing that is not going to change Jamaica. It not change Jamaica. So what we need is to change Jamaica and it's it going to change from the conversation changing, which is you guys, the way you speak. The way you interact. You see this way I go on right now. I mean, I'm my name, my name, my name, you know, I'm strong, alright. I could, could just dig in a little bit of ego right now. Because everybody running, everybody else are going like them think me a weak fence, like them can't run in for me. And them cannot run in for me. Them can't run in for me. Right? But, if you don't deal with me, so, how not deal with the people in them around, you know? I have one. Journalists work brazen enough to come send email at all about I need an interview. You don't need no blood clot interview. Go interview tough foot them. Seen? After me done hear somebody on the radio, I talk to a young girl and say, and say, the pic, say to the picnic, say, so how are you going to explain to your son when him grow a little older? How are you going to explain to him that you're a prostitute? I mean, a little girl say, prostitute? And I could hear in her voice, I could hear her shoulder drop. I could hear the blood that drain out of her face. I could hear her self-esteem crack. I could hear everything good in her life where, where she feel like a build up and like she had turned in a smuddy. I could hear it a dead in her fucking voice. Every time I talk Jamaican people, them things say joke me I'm making and them things say it's a gimmick thing. And you, you see me out here so look like me I look attention. I don't even pardon you. Know? I don't pardon nobody. If me that look attention, you, you know there's a lot more me could and I do forget attention, right? And I could also be accepting the attention that I'm getting and not reject it as much as I do. I reject attention. So I don't want nobody running for me. I look no. I look no interview. You know some junkro. You know some dead body feeding junkro where, where, where I look for the next carcass. Because all I know do is wait for people's sanity for die. So you can come in with no carry and crow self. And feast on the carcass of the insanity. But that is not me. Go away. That's not me. Me understand you no know better than you know understand you know self. Me no wanna do this for you know trending people and you know what. You see, me and Shannon talk and people start share it, right? Somebody go share it. By the way, yard yard whatever your name. We share it. And Shannon say, Tagar, I wanna disrespectful. Wanna study. Me and the woman said don't have a conversation. We never tag you and you never involved in it. And she said, tag me. Tag her because of your interview. I said, me and she did that talk. You couldn't get that out of me because you have the emotional intelligence. And she said, tag her. That go without saying. Any decent human being would tag her. And then you know, Panta Pipe be rude and tell her, I said, the only reason why they want to put her on phone page is because of me. No, you want to put her on the page because she get a conversation there. Because she's the one who actually accommodated and inspired it. Uno couldn't do it because Uno not have the journalistic skill nor the emotional intelligence to accommodate it. So Uno, Uno do better than that, right? All right. I digress. Let me go back to the topic at hand. So-called journalists, Uno go, go take a course. Stop coming to me about Uno want interview because Uno don't want to interview. Uno want fucking gossip. For all of the people who are coming and tell me say them hope me strong enough, you not strong like me, no pussy. You not strong like me. You hope me strong enough? You, hope, you think it takes strength for me to call one name to you? You think it takes strength? You feel like it takes strength for me? Why me need to call a name to Uno? You don't think I could have call, call a name to some man's ears and make some man go name the food? 
I say I don't call her name. No, stop asking me about name. Stop asking me about name. I want to. I don't call her name because I don't want to sit down and gossip together. We're not doing that. Because every time when somebody call her name, let me tell you what happens so far when people call her name. Somebody encourage some victims, real victims, to come out and call her name. And the whole of the, 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 whole of the feminists them turn over upon them. Feminists, you know? We're supposed to fight for women rights, you know? Turn over upon them and say, them are some crosses and what they do wrong. They don't call her name. <laughs> Shake a leg, come down the road now and tell me if you call him. Who don't call him out my body? Who don't think I'm an idiot? So, who don't look somebody now if you have another lawsuit so that a rapist can get some money out of somebody out, out of them victim? And who don't idiot? Who don't take me for fool? I say, I don't call no bum buck like that name. And that, I say, stop bothering me. Anytime, if me did feel so moved, if you have a repercussion come out there, repercussion is a repercussion. So, who don't relax? Who don't relax? I say I don't call her name. You know what the victim them need now? Here's what victims need. Victims need you know, for change in you know, conversation. Victims need every time somebody say, this happened to me, you know, stop running and, and say I lie to my tell. Stop running and say I lie to my tell. That's what victim need. Victim don't need for hear nobody name. I'm going to gossip when I want your name. Victim need for know so they're safe. And there's accommodation for them when they decide to speak. That's what victims need. Victim need reassurance. That's our victim need. They don't need fear nobody name. Because for me, for me predator or for them predator. They don't need fear nobody name. And as for those who keep saying, call names so you can know for protect yourself from. Protect yourself from every bumble clock body. Assume say all of them pussy are rapists. Assume say all of them are rapists and protect yourself and protect your pitney. That's it. Me don't need to call no man name. Me no need for call no man name. What me need uno for do is stop call girl name. That's our uno for do. Don't put the onus on the victim for fix this shit. Uno fix it. Uno fix it. When a, 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 a couple, a when a year or a year ago, when the minister of justice Say, cho, if 10 years ago somebody harassed you in the elevator, you know, you know say nothing all the time, cho, no bother with it. <laughs> with a little chuckle. Bumbo clot, I want to defend him. Adapt me at talk about. Don't ask me for call a name, because you know that name, 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 Delroy, chuck and him chuckle. I want to back him and defend him. And him, he, he, you see, if I did a regular random man do it, I probably wouldn't say nothing about him. I'm the Minister of Blood Clot Justice. And him, me, if look to, to get justice for my atrocity, we meet it out to me. And if him, I say, if you not talk yet, input a, input a limitation. Input a statute of lim, a personal statute of limitation for my mouth. If you tell me when, if you talk, by or else nobody come. I'm Minister of Justice, that you know. And this I want to harbor. Because you know, labor right and PNP, so when a pussy do something wrong, you know, defend it. This I want to need for change. Don't ask me about no name, don't ask me about no blood clot name. Don't come tell me so no one to interview because you know don't go interview the boy we say we know if talk. Interview that. Don't come ask me about something what happened in my personal life. Me sure say it happened because it happened too much and to too many people and we need to change it. But don't come ask me that becomes a private business now that you just simply nosy. It has nothing to this it has no bearing on fixing the problem because the problem is bigger than a one man. We have a culture. We don't have a predator, we have a predatory culture. So what we need to change is a conversation. We need to change the narrative so that it becomes less accommodated. When it becomes less accommodated, when a predator feel like he have consequence, when he feel like nobody now go put up with him fuckery, then it will stop. But what's the point of me and you sitting here gossiping? Me and I go sit down here and gossip. Because that way I go basically do gossip. But, and then Pantapite so I go make in trend. And all me I say, I don't call any name out there, guess out Bumbo Clad car. Uno has some pussy. Because me say, I don't call any name. And Uno out there, busy, we don't know one of them. Think I don't see Uno. Pussy, straight pussy, Uno be. We don't know one of them out there, so gossip. And when Uno come in at my DMs, I say, yo, I don't come in here with the gossip. How is it gossip and start to cuss me? So you go cuss me. And me, you say you care about it, you know? Hey, listen, man, go near my body wall again. I don't know how you like me. Because I'm not a pet and pamper. I'm not a box.